The Rescue Booster Pack, engineered by Quick Cable, makes starting a dead vehicle easy and, well, quick. This program will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to jumpstart a vehicle using your Rescue Booster Pack. Before we begin, we need to go over some important safety measures. Always wear safety glasses when working with or around lead-acid batteries. Start by making sure the vehicle ignition is off and in the park position. Likewise, check to make sure the Rescue Booster Pack on-off switch is in its off position. Second, make sure anything and everything that runs on the car battery is turned off. That includes headlamps, radios, air conditioning, as well as anything that plugs into the power outlets like cell phones, TVs, and MP3 players. Next, inspect the car battery to make sure it is not cracked or leaking. If it is, do not attempt to jumpstart the vehicle. A cracked or leaking battery could explode and spray you with acid. Lastly, you will need to identify both the positive and negative terminals or posts on the car battery. The positive terminal will be labeled with a plus sign or a P and may be color coded red. The negative terminal will be labeled with a minus sign or an N and may be color coded black. If you can't seem to find the labels, the battery is probably dirty. Just wipe the area around the terminal with a rag. Once you have determined the positive and negative terminals, you are ready to make your connections from the Rescue Booster Pack to your vehicle's battery. Before you jumpstart the vehicle, make sure the Rescue Booster Pack is adequately charged. The meter registers a good charge, so now you're ready to begin. First, connect the red positive clamp to the positive battery terminal or post. Continue by connecting the black negative clamp to a non-moving metal part of the engine. Look for an unpainted solid piece of metal, like a nut or bolt, in the engine compartment. Make sure it isn't touching the battery. It's normal to see a little spark when making the connection to the negative terminal. Do you hear that? The Rescue Booster Pack will alert you with an audible signal and a light if you have not connected the clamps properly. If this happens, check to make sure the booster pack is off and reverse the clamp connections. Once assured you have the correct connection, turn the booster pack's on-off switch to the on position. Don't be alarmed that intermittent beeping is letting you know the unit is turned on. When you turn the booster pack off, the beeping will stop. Okay, now it's the moment of truth. Go ahead and start the vehicle. After a successful jump start of the vehicle, turn the booster pack on-off switch to the off position. All beeping will stop. It's a good idea to keep the car running for a few minutes so the alternator has time to recharge the battery. Disconnect the black clamp first, followed by the red clamp and wrap the jumper cables securely in place. Recharge your Rescue Booster Pack as soon as possible. For more information on Rescue Booster Packs, visit related sites on quickhowto.com.